Hi friends, log on to my website fastbeam.com and talk to me on the forums. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this the Hero Impulse which has been modified crazily so you get extra lamps over here, auxiliary lamps, a crash guard for the headlight which has been finished with fluorescent, a lot of stickers over here, motor beam sticker over here, lid on, live on as well. And as you can see, it also gets additional pegs over there. More comfortable riding, it also gets a ton of accessories like obviously a mobile holder over here where I can put my GoPro and ride. And the motorcycle obviously has a lot of purpose. In fact, the seat height is as much as the multi-starter luggage mounts over here all over the machine and has been kept quite well it's not rusted as much as i would have expected it but some amount of rust is there as well on this machine and as you can see this bike looks very purposeful very slim tank over here and boy oh boy it can go off-road especially look at that beak up front looks really nice and purposeful as well so obviously this isn't a motorcycle for on-road riding because of the ground clearance it's not the most balanced over there and the light is also small over here doesn't get any leds at all but this was the first motorcycle from hero when it changed its name to hero motocorp and said goodbye to honda yeah i was searching for dhanil he's already vanished same as honda who has vanished from heroes partnership anyways more importantly about the design of this motorcycle it feels kind of a basic it gets an analog digital cluster the tachometer swipes all the way and this digital meter shows you the fuel reading as well as odo and a speedometer well you can go into select well it also gets twin trip meters and an odometer over here and it also gets a clock which is a nice touch so over here there's a switch which is for the fuel reserve and this is obviously the ignition key a lot of rusting over here mirrors offer a decent view what's behind along with the convex mirror for a better view and also it gets this handguard for off-roading well the seat is really very long no split seat over here it's very comfortable as well but how is it to ride well let's get going Vlog dikhta lekin like comment share nahi karta dekho abhi throttle mat de fi hai that's the deal take it or leave it you want a great photo a very nice photo on the bike give your jacket and shoes to dhanil he will do a wheelie and wear your helmet and then he will pass off as you all right we are good to go ne self kaam nahi karta iska it's too hard core kill switch nahi hai yaar fuel meter dekha aise ghumta rehta hai pure time pata nahi kya chal kya raha hai abhi kya neutral mein ki nahi light nahi chal rahi kick 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 so fair chal le i'm bad with kicks All right, here we go. And to start off with, we have a challenge here, a challenging terrain, which means that either my shoes are going to get really dirty, or what? I don't know. But my goodness, can you see that? If anything, it's only the impulse which can go smoothly over here. Yeah, it can. Obviously, no problem, no problem. Look at this motorcycle go! My God, what a machine! So. We are riding the Hero Impulse, a motorcycle which many of you have requested me to ride, and trust me, this motorcycle's ride quality is supremely comfortable. It feels like I am on a sofa. That's how comfortable it is. What a comfortable motorcycle! I have absolutely no idea why this was discontinued. Okay, there is lunch for today. Anyways, as you can see, the Hero Impulse decimates bad roads. The ride quality is simply brilliant on this motorcycle, but the handling isn't that great, unfortunately. So, right away, even on this bad road, I don't have to stress out at all. It is so brilliantly comfortable. Give it throttle, and it just goes over bad roads without making any fuss whatsoever. What a comfortable motorcycle! I mean, I'm actually riding on the worst of roads, and there's no problem at all. So that is the best thing about the Hero Impulse. Now, the speedometer on this motorcycle isn't working, and the seat is also very comfortable. I'm sitting upright, and the motor is also very refined. Obviously, it's a Honda motor. So, in terms of practicality, this motorcycle is just phenomenal. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. And because of the accessories like a windscreen over here, wind blast has been reduced, but for my height, there's still a lot of buffeting. Good view of what's behind as well. This is the switch for the auxiliary lights, and unfortunately, the speedometer doesn't work. Meanwhile, the brakes absolutely suck on this motorcycle. They are pathetic. I mean, they don't offer much feel or feedback as such. And now, even in higher gears at lower speeds, it just glides through. And here we go. So, a decent amount of low end punch, 
and red lines all the way to 10,000 RPM, but lacks a mid range completely. I mean, top end is decent, but it doesn't feel punchy. And the weakest link of this motorcycle is its engine. So, this 150cc engine is out of place on an adventure motorcycle, which actually needs more punch, producing just 13.2 PS of power and 13.4 Newton meters of torque. There is just not enough performance on offer. In fact, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes a few years, and it doesn't have any high speed stability either. But then it doesn't even go to high speeds. That's another problem. Although I have to admit that the motor is quite refined and smooth, and uh, yeah, there is a lot of wind blast in spite of that windscreen because of my height. Riding position is comfortable, handling is pathetic. It simply doesn't point in the direction you want it to point, and the front end is so loose you can see it's going wobbly all the way. So that's another problem with this motorcycle. So the Hero Impulse is a great off-road motorcycle. Actually, it's a great motorcycle for Indian roads. Actually, the clutch is also very light, and uh, the gearbox is also very slick. And there's some sort of dive, you know, when you brake a little hard as well. The suspension has a lot of travel. It's very soft. It gets a monoshock at the rear. In fact, it was the first Hero bike to get a monoshock suspension. So yes, many first for this particular motorcycle and if Hero had launched it with the Charisma engine, it would have been drastically better. In fact, I rode a 223cc equipped Hero Impulse which was made by uh, one of the Hero dealers and uh, that is a four point dealership. We reviewed it on Motorbeam as well. I've put the link over here. That had good amount of performance. Hero should have really offered more performance on this motorcycle. It would have sold in really great numbers. So as you can see, the Hero Impulse is a great motorcycle which lacks in terms of handling and performance. The engine needed to be better so this is my really short review of the hero impulse actually it's not inspiring me to ride hard and fast the front end is very loose and in terms of off-road ability it's just brilliant the tires also are a little bit off-road spec and offer good grip on off-road conditions pathetic grip on on-road conditions so guys uh, as you can see this motorcycle is impressive it could have been even more impressive if hero wouldn't have given up on it it's funny how the fuel meter keeps blinking as if it's some hazard light <laughs> well that's a lol moment over here and I mean the motor is quite refined for a single cylinder engine but then it doesn't have much power so that's a bit disappointing I think 50 times I've already said in this vlog it doesn't have power but if I'm pulling it or stretching it in first gear itself it redlines at 10,000 rpm and then you know does make decent progress in the city but out on the highway it completely lacks even speed breakers are no problem on this motorcycle anyways guys this is my review of the hero impulse and if you liked it you know what you have to do give it the thumbs up you know you're finding it such a trouble to turn around this motorcycle because it just doesn't have front end feel anyways if you like this video you know what you have to do give it the thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video real soon <laughs> bye bye i suspect that car over there has a motor beam sticker yep it says figo and motorbeam.com on top bye bye